what's going on everyone um, we're up here in North Carolina today brought my friend Laurel with me we've been talking about fishing for about two years and she's always busy we never get around to it but we picked one of the coldest days of the year so far to come it's uh, toasty 32 degrees right now so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, indicator fishing which Laurel's gonna have set up on her rod and some dry dropper stuff I'm probably gonna be primarily Euro nymphing and uh, we're fishing for combination of wild and stalkers like a lot of my other videos have been and so yeah should be a good day and yeah I'm excited to be out on the river with my friend Jacob we've been waiting a long time to do this so super excited to get out here and catch some of these beautiful fish she's never been to this river before so it'll be fun for her. a little adventure absolutely yeah. so let's uh let's get to it catch right. some fish and freeze <laughs> yeah freeze for sure Nice little brook trout we have here, beautiful. Y'all can see, Laurel's over here catching a lot of fish on this indicator rig. Uh, something I forgot to mention in the intro. So we're going to try a little experiment today. With some of that. That's right, 13x tippet. It's uh, not even a pound test breaking strength. Probably going to lose a couple flies and a couple of fish, but I like a challenge. Something fun to do. smell again picked him up on that egg off the bottom um, pretty good fight out of him sitting really low and when I pitched it up to him I made a couple casts it didn't sink quite right I went a little bit farther 
and my fly hit a pocket and it just sunk really fast and it was about two inches in front of this fish and as soon as it hit the bottom he just swam up to it sucked it in and uh, a lot of fun it was cool it's night like I said it's nice to be able to pick those fish out when the water's real clear and be able to you know just target specific fish because if I was just blind fish in the hole I probably would have caught a bunch of small ones which is great but it's always nice when you can pick out a big old hook jaw brown like that. Everybody loves one of those. So yeah. Alright, so just caught that nice brown. Decided to come up just at the top end of where Laurel was catching her fish. And there's a lot of fish just up above here. And I put on a little micro egg. I'm just going to break this down and how I cover these little pockets like this that are when the river narrows. A lot of times people walk past them. There's always a lot of fish in them. So like a couple casts right up above you. There's a little fish right there. A little bump trout. Fly came out, so I'm just going to toss him back in right fast. And I see another fish right there. I'm going to try to get him before I move up. There he is. Another brook trout, a little bit bigger. We're getting him back in there. Alright, now I'm just going to take a couple steps up. And notice I'm not really worried about that side right now. A lot of times I will fish kind of straight up if these fish are hitting really fast and I'm missing them. And then I'll come back fish that side and there's a couple fish right up here above these rocks where it slows down had one hit it but I waited a little too long before I hooked him so I don't make a ton of noise in there. This one. There we go. Another brookie. This particular river we're fishing has a lot of brook trout in it. Pretty fish. Go. Fish are sitting a little farther over, so I'm gonna get back in there. There's another one. It's a little rainbow. Little wild rainbow. There's a little wiggly. <laughs> doesn't want to cooperate. Come here. There we go. Little wild rainbow trout. There we go. Take another cast in there. I know there's probably a couple more, but that's kind of a good way to break down this kind of water. It's real narrow right here. Um, got some really fast water on the right side. Got some really slow water on this side. And there's a deep pocket in the middle up here, and that's where most of the fish at the top half are sitting. Um, there could be a few over there, but sometimes I'll make a cast in there, but it's a little breezy today, so it's harder to get my flies down just because the wind's blowing the cider around a lot. But every now and then you'll still get it down in there. I just missed a fish right there. I'll throw another cast up here and see if I can pull one more out of there. And there's another one. Nice little brown trout. Pull three fish, three different species out of one pocket. Pretty brown. Got some nice yellow on him. Again, these fish are hitting really fast. 
and I feel like personally when you're euro nymphing the quickest connection you can get to a fish is almost directly upstream like this. You can kill them pretty quick across stream, but you're always going to have some sort of drag coming across. Unless you like do this or reach outward where you can get more connection to your fly. But a lot of times you'll miss fish if they're hitting too quick at that position just because your flies aren't truly connected. Now when you fish straight upstream like this, everything's in a straight line. You're throwing in that seam immediately and everything's in connection with itself. So as soon as the flies hit the water, if anything hits it like this little wild rainbow just did, you're going to know it almost immediately. And so I really, really like fishing that way when fish are really skittish. They're hitting fast, especially on pressured water because that's usually how they're going to act. So it's just a nice little way to break down this run. And as you saw, I pulled quite a few fish out of there. So don't be afraid to pass up that kind of water and don't be afraid to fish directly upstream of you either. So that's some good tips for you. All right, we've uh, moved downstream and I'm going to uh, do a little indicator fishing here in this hole. Hopefully hook into a bigger fish than I have um, already so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What you got there? Oh, brook trout I believe. So I said it earlier, it's come to that part of the day. We've caught a lot of fish. Now we're gonna do something stupid. <laughs> Put some 13X tippet on there. A decent bit. A lot of fish in this tail out of this pool. Be some good sight fishing opportunities. And with a super light tippet, that might be the best way to do it it's just so I don't set the hook hard if I feel one hit it but I got a feeling I might break off a fish or two but we'll see we'll see what it can take I've fished a lot of 10x before and I've got pretty comfortable throwing 10x but this stuff this stuff's pretty pretty thin it does not take a whole lot to break it it's uh, about like fishing a spider web. I'm just going to put a little weightless egg. I got a size 20 weightless egg that doesn't have a bead. I figure that material will soak up water in this 13x tip, and it should sink fast enough to where I don't have to put a bead on it. Um, and something I can see, something I can sight fish with. Like a couple fault, like a little tuck cast in there to make sure it's sinking. All right, it's kind of sinking. Let's see if one of them. Oh, here comes one. Oh, we got him. Not too sure how much pressure I could put on this fish. I'm gonna guess probably not a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna ease down. Okay. Okay. We successfully caught a fish on 13X. There we go. I'm gonna throw it back out there. I hope that big rainbow doesn't need it. I'm screwed if he is. 
There's like a 20 inch rainbow sitting here with a bunch of little brook trout. Oh, here comes one. We got one. Oh, he come, okay. he come off. He come off. He did not break off. He just come off. This tip is so small, I don't want to set the hook super hard because it'll pop off. But at the same time, you have to set it somewhat stout so you'll get the hook in them. Oh, I had a little <laughs> baby one. Decent rookie. Mm -hmm. Oh no. He's not happy. Yeah, he's around him. <laughs> Come here. Don't you break my line. Don't you do it. Okay. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a solid fish on 13x tippet. I will, uh, I will happily take that. Nice brook trout. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, let's see if we can... See if I can get one more. See if I can airmail a fish with it. <laughs> and, and we'll see about what, what this tippet can actually take. I, I would guess probably not a whole lot. Successfully airmail small fish with it. A little brown? It's a little brown trout on the 13X. <laughs> so, I'll let him go. Okay, it works. I didn't break <laughs> off the fish. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, is it practical? Will I ever have to <laughs> probably use this in a real situation? Probably not. Is it fun to do just to do it? Yeah. Um, you, you can catch a trout and a decent one on 13x, so there we go. <laughs> Alright, well it's been an awesome day here out on the river up in North Carolina enjoying the cool mountains and the beautiful fish we have here and I just had a great time with Jacob. It's been a wonderful trip, caught plenty of fish, definitely a success. Oh yeah, I mean we didn't move a whole lot today, we more just came up here with the intentions of fishing and I had put out a YouTube video in probably two weeks and I was like, hey you want to in a video she's like yeah sure so <laughs> we decided to make a little short video and catch some fish and got a gopro for christmas and worked on some underwater stuff and so hopefully here in the next little bit we'll have some really good videos of that and so yeah had a good time and uh we'll see you next time somebody walked up behind us <laughs>